Well, listen, we have two sets with Peter Rowan coming up, and he's brought this great band with him. Los Texamaniacs is his backup group. We're going to have a lot of fun tonight. I hope you're ready. We're going to start the show off. Would you please give a nice, warm welcome to Los Texmaniacs. here as well. Sometimes it's just nice to be part of the band. Oh, you were? Wow. Oh, Norma has loaned me uh, one of her beautiful guitars here. Tell me how it was when you were young. Was the world so full of wonder in your first days under the sun? And oh, grandfather, tell me, how is it true you work the land? And the tools that you used, you made with your own. Before time was only money and machines made man a slave. Was the world all milk and honey before all the streets are paved? Grandson, I'll tell you truly how it was when I was young. The world was full of wonder in my first days under the sun. Machines made man a slave. The world was milk and honey before all the streets are
town of Laredo It seems like a lifetime ago I first set my eyes on Carmelita On the borders of old Mexico I was sent by the Texas Rangers To bring back the outlaw walking When I stepped into Rosa's cantina I felt like I moved in a dream but there really is no explanation For a love beyond space and time Every broken heart has a story Listen while I tell you mine Un beso 
Thank you so much, folks. Let's hear a good number from the Tex Maniacs. This is a rhythm, one of my favorites, called the Wapungo. <laughs> Comes from way down in the south of the border. Way.
Thank you, folks. Los Texmaniacs. Here's a tune that I recorded with Tony Rice on our first record. And uh, we did it all acoustic, bluegrass style, without, with no banjos, no fiddles, but we had uh, mandolin, of course, and, and, uh, and Bray, uh, Bryn Bright on the bass, Billy Bright on the mandolin. And uh, it was a song that I wrote uh, thinking of the uh, wild horses out in, uh, out in the west where I live most of the time, which is, uh, well, from the southern uh, table mesas of uh, Utah on west out there through Nevada in California, make my home now. And I lived in Texas for a number of years, and funny enough, we never got together in Texas <laughs> until I went back to celebrate at Christmas uh, with Flaco Jimenez, who I had recorded with some years before. You know Flaco, right? <laughs> well, this is, this is Flaco's protege, Josh uh, Baca. And I have this man here to thank for pulling us all together because back when I was playing out in New Mexico with Flaco, some many years ago, there was this little 12-year-old kid who came to the gig. And I said, oh, how are you? And he goes, yes. He says, I'm going to play. And I said, really? Someday you'll be a, you'll be a man. You'll play. And he said, when, when, do you, when do you think that will be? And he said, tonight. <laughs> 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 Mr. Max Baca. Thank you, folks. It sure is an honor to be here and uh, with you guys, and of course with the with the legend, the man Peter Rowan, man. And, uh, thank you, Peter. Like you said, I got to meet him when I was when I was a youngster, and uh, and uh, so many years later, uh, we ran into each other in uh, one of the American Folklife Festivals in Washington D.C. And uh, we s we sat in together, and he says, "Man, you guys sound just like the Flock of Humanist Band." And uh, so here we are, man. So thank you, Peter. Give it up for Peter Rowan, y'all. Thank you, Max. So it's a, such a great thrill to be back. This is only my second time out in public in a long time. <laughs> and uh, hello, nice to see your faces, really. <laughs> it's so good. Yeah. So when I started playing with these guys, you know, and uh, the, gr the great spirit of Flaco Jimenez, you know, emanates our our love for music and uh, we talk about him like he's our guru we talk about him all the time you know and he's uh, still with us and 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 he always says you Pete be sure and tell them uh, I wish I were there you know <laughs> so here's a, a tune uh, I did this with Tony Rice as I said and uh, I thought it'd be a great one to do with uh, Los Tex Maniacs I hope you enjoy <coughs> this version of uh, the Wild Mustang. Well, I'm the mild Mustang they brought me from Spain From the sands of Arabia to the South Texas plain North African tribesmen that taught me to ride Galloping over the desert so wide Nevada, Montana, my home Through swift disappearing wild pastures I roam You cannot corral me in your fields of barbed wire You cannot put out my fire I'm 
Give it a Peter Rowan, y'all. Six long years I've been in this prison 
living my life behind bars in this dirty cell. Tomorrow they're gonna take me down to the hot seat and send my soul to heaven or to hell.
life of our baby child has just begun. There's only one thought now that's left to haunt me. I think that what I've lost, I might have won. Yeah, but I'm gonna love you like there's no tomorrow. I'm gonna love you like there's no yesterday. This music we're playing, uh, uh, it's, uh, we call it Tex-Mex music, uh, with accordion and the bajo sexo here, and uh, we're uh, kind of infusing it with, uh, of course, Peter Rowan's blues, bluegrass style, and kind of creating something kind of cool, I think. Um, so, uh, Conjunto music, uh, Tex-Mex music started uh, when the Germans settled in Texas around the turn of the century, and they, uh, a lot of folks think uh, that it this music comes from Mexico, and it, it does, and it started in Texas. Uh, when the Germans brought over the button accordion, and uh, there was a couple of fellows by the name of Narciso Martinez, along with Santiago Jimenez, Senior Flaco Jimenez's daddy, <laughs> were the first to hear <laughs> were the first to hear the uh, accordion, right? And uh, the German, the umpa sound of the Germans playing in, in the local area, the Brownfields and close to San Antonio area, and uh, decided we'll pick up an accordion, and they did. But what we did different was incorporate the instrument that I'm playing here, called the bajo sexto which is a 12-string guitar with bass strings and guitar strings at the same time. And it was designed to take the place of the left-hand side of the accompaniment part of the accordion because when the Germans would play, they'd accompaniment themselves like this. So the bajo sexto took the place of that. Therefore, we created our own style and our own sound, and we called it Tex Mix. And uh, that's the Tex, and this is the Mix. <laughs> so back in the days when the migrant farmers, farm workers were working the fields, this was our means of entertainment. And it was just these two instruments, that's it. And they'd have uh, these uh, shindigs or pachangos, you know, after the, a week of work in the, the barns or whatever, in the fields or whatever, and uh, around the campfire. And this is what it sounded like back then. One, two, three. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you. And so that's where all this uh, Tex-Mex music started, because these two instruments right here, you know. And then, uh, of course, we came along Faco Jimenez and took it to another level. And, uh, <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, so uh, later on they incorporated uh, an upright bass, and then it's a trio, and then, uh, and then uh, a complete drum set, and it's a quartet, it's a conjunto now, you know. So kind of stayed, that name conjunto, because kind of stayed around and... But uh, that's how uh, it's. This music is a form of folk music. You know, it's got the acoustic instruments, and uh, and uh, we like to keep it original the way it was played back then. Uh, I like to call it good old beer drinking music. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a beautiful song, um, <laughs> and Peter can join in on this. This fantastic uh, version of uh, Cancion Mixteca. It's a beautiful song, and uh, we got to play it during the. Uh, our tour, uh, several tours back in the, when the war was going on in 2005 and 2006, we went to Iraq to entertain the troops. And uh, thank God we made it home safe. And uh, <laughs> thank you. So we're going to dedicate to all our men and women in uniform out there and, uh, and all our veterans out there. All right. <laughs> it's a song that uh, reminds you of no matter where you're at in the world, you always remember home.
Quisiera llorar, quisiera morir de sentimiento. Thank you, folks. I really, you know, uh, the, the, the years I spent in Texas and really under the uh, mentorship of Flaco Jimenez, who just taught in such a, a deep way, you know, that really connected me from the idea of the bluegrass roots with the roots of uh, south of the border music. And uh, then come to find out that to to polka is huge up here, right? Do, do you all go to the polka dances? I mean, <laughs> Cleveland, Ohio was like a polka mecca. And, uh, and well, who's the main guy? The guy who... For Yankovic for years, right? Can anybody do the polka? Is there enough room I to can, do a polka? I can do the polka. Can you? Oh, I'm okay. Kidding, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Are there any requests that we can do with this first set? We're kind of just feeling it out here. What's that? A Woman in Love. Oh, let's give that a try. Band's never played it before, probably never heard it either. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> but this is what it's all about. You know, we've got to jump into it, because if we don't, it's going to pass us by. You know? <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It's going to be in the key, be in the key of e. We can stay in E for a while. <laughs> now, I'll tell you what. Let's start with the Mule Skinner Blues in E. Uh, this is a bluegrass tune, of course, but it's a real old blues. One of Bill Monroe's first recordings and uh there oh, I do one my version is called the the oh. mule skinner boogie oh. yeah. Yeah, man. Good morning, child. Do you need another mule scanner? Down on the old Dumont line. The old lady. <laughs> Kentucky way, hey, hey. I can be giving you a listen, or I won't accept your pay. Hey, hey. The only
since I fell in love with you. Well, a woman in love, she lets her hair hang down, stays at home with the lights turned down. She's warm at night, her heart is light. She's a woman in love. Well, a woman in love, she wants her man to stay. Everything she has, she'll throw it all away for that man she loves. She's a woman in love. Oh, here I go again, falling in love with you. My heart won't be slow again since I fell in love with you. try any song if we got that one. <laughs> Thank you for asking for that one. <laughs> Let's, uh, yeah. well, I think uh, we're going to do two 45s, so, um, so uh, maybe one more here and then everybody can take a break and uh, you know, uh, we'll re re reconvene in about 20 minutes, I guess. And I thought you were going to say reefer. <laughs> uh, re <laughs> we re reconvene, yeah. <laughs> Oh, these Texans, you know. <laughs> hey, well, folks, we'd like to remind everybody we have some uh, CDs and uh, some T-shirts. And if you'd like to buy one, we'd appreciate it. You can buy one for your neighbor if you'd like to. It's fine with us. It's not that we need the money. It's the people we owe. <laughs> Check out a CD. We got a few CDs there.
Well, who? <laughs> really, I just, I think we should tour the greater Ohio basin or, and just play polka dances night after night. Be, you know, I mean, it's really all, all I want to do is get out and play. And, uh, I have to thank uh, everybody for having us here. So, Yorma and Vanessa and John really put it together for us, and I'm really so grateful for that. Thank you, guys. All right, so uh, I, I don't even remember how this one goes, but it's... Uh, uh, one day I was sitting around picking with Jerry Garcia, and he said, hey, man, you know that song you just sang? And I go, yeah. And he said, you ought to sing that for Marmaduke. Now, Marmaduke was the head of a band called the New Riders of the Purple Sage, and uh, so I did, and... Uh, We'll give it a try, but this one can get away from you. Even for the hardiest pokers, this could be a, a real poker.
tickle my bones in alcohol. By my head places, no I love. Tell the world I died for love. Freight train, freight train, going so fast. Freight train, freight train, going so fast. Please don't tell them what train I'm on, so they won't know which way I've gone. Hit it, brother! Everybody's acting lazy, falling out and hanging around, yeah. My woman said, hey, Pedro, you acting crazy like a clown. Nobody feels like working. Panama Red is back in town. Panama Red, Panama Red. He'll steal your woman, then he'll rob your head. Panama Red, Panama Red. On a white horse, Miss Calido, he come breezing through. Bet your woman's up in bed with old man. <laughs> Man, i Peter Owen, folks. We'll be right back. Oh, yeah, you're right. We're going to take a short pause for nature's cause. We'll be back in a flash with more of the trash. Hey, you're right. Hey, folks, we're back. back. I decided that the subtitle for Peter Rowan and the Free Mexican Air Force featuring Los Tex Maniacs is Dispellers of Unlikelihood. <laughs> <laughs> It's working. Could I have it just down a little bit in the monitors, please? Yeah. Oh, great. Can you put a little of reverb on it? <laughs> Got a talent button out there? Turn it. <laughs> 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 Turn it up. Yeah. T 
10.
when you cross the Mississippi, you hit the open plains. You pass through Indian territory where the sky begins to rain. And you're feeling kind of rootless. You can't find no place to nest. Just remember tumbleweed. The spirit of the West The desert wind Blows tumbleweed The spirit of the West Yeah, the desert wind calls tumbleweed The spirit of I was on a vision quest and I went out through Oklahoma and ended up, uh, I'll, I'll put it a little background, uh, all the winter long after I left the band Sea Train, uh, I had no work and uh, some people from New Mexico were, uh, ha had a canvas wiki up that they had made in Boston by Omar the tent maker. And my friend Fast Eddie Phelan, he, he built a frame for it that was fo foldable so it could fold into like a half moon shape of laminated wood. And it would open up and you could get about six or eight people in there in a circle and have a fire in the middle and heat up rocks and have a sweat lodge. That's what that was, a wiki up. And uh, so there was a rent house in Lincoln, Massachusetts. And uh, we used to go over to the rent house and uh, uh, collect river rocks from the river basins around in the hills of Massachusetts. And we heat up those rocks in a fireplace in the living room of the rent house in Lexington. And then we set up the wiki up on an asbestos mat, you know, and uh, <laughs> yeah, in the living room of the rent house of <laughs> Lexington, Massachusetts, yeah. <laughs> and, and put some cinder block down, <laughs> you know, to absorb the heat and all. And then, then you take the rocks out of the fireplace on a pitchfork and you bring them in through the entrance of the wiki up in the living room of the rent house in Lexington, <laughs> Massachusetts. <laughs> and you put them inside and you get about five or six of those rocks in there and then you bring in a bucket of water and you sit in there in a big circle and uh, breathe through pine boughs. In the southwest you breathe through sage, but since we didn't have any sage, we just went out and cut pine boughs from the pine trees in the yard of the rent house of Lexington, Massachusetts. <laughs> And we, and we sat in there, and we'd make those, those rocks would be hot. You splash a little water on it, you know, and somebody might go, ohm, for about, <laughs> for about 20 seconds, and then it'd be like, mm-hmm, yeah, it's too, <laughs> it's too hot even for ohm. <laughs> and we'd sit there, and we'd sweat, you know, and maybe, you know, have visions and things like that, you know. So I was looking forward to meeting Fast Eddie Phelan out in Taos, New Mexico, because he's the guy who sent up the wiki up in the living room of the rent house in Lexington, Massachusetts. And uh, <clears throat> so I was on my way down through Oklahoma on my way to Taos, New Mexico to see Fast Eddie. And uh, we stopped in this little town. It was the, it's the Kiowa Indian Reservation where they were taken to. And uh, um, it, was a, it was a beautiful fall day, you know, October in, in Oklahoma. And uh, came into town, and um, I'd never been there. I didn't know what to expect, but I'd been reading about all the American Indian stuff, because my big curiosity since I was born was, where are the people that were here? You know, so this was one way of finding out where the people are. 
And uh, so I went in there and uh, wandered, sitting around, wandering around town, there's trading posts and this and that. And I walked into this one trading post just on intuition. And I walked in and had all this beaded uh, fans and rattles with beads and like peyote birds on, made of silver that you, you can wear if you're a member of the peyote church and all that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was looking at that stuff and I thought, you know, when we were in the wiki up in the <laughs> living room of the rent house in Lexington, Massachusetts, the proper thing to say was good medicine. You know, the, the healing of the sweating and the you know, magic of the stones and all that, you know. So I'm looking at the stuff and I, I was trained, you see, and I was looking, I was going, and I said, good medicine. And this teenage boy Real dark eyes and dark hair cut real short, probably been to the mission school or something. He goes, you like medicine? And I went, yeah, good, good, good medicine. You know, I think you're objects, right? He said, come with me. <laughs> so I walked behind the counter of the trading post in Anadarka, Oklahoma into a room filled with rainbows and uh, about a thousand peyote buttons strung on threads across the ceiling, kind of shining like the, the net of Indra, you know, it's like, uh, you know, and, uh, and he took, took a bunch down and hit, hit me up about 18 bead, 18 of these uh, buttons, all dry, beautiful, all the poisons had been taken off and you know, the strychnine and, they were beautiful. They were for the Amer Native American Church, which is active in Anadarka, Oklahoma. And um, so I, I took this bag and I bought a rattle, you know. It was filled with garnets. And a, a peyote pin, and I put the pin on. And I was like, yeah, man. This is, we are on the medicine trail now. And I walked out of the trading post, and I walked across the street, and I saw Fast Eddie Phelan's car with the Massachusetts plates and the uh, Taos, New Mexico parking sticker on it. And it was a little Rover Jeep. And I walked in the trading post where Eddie was, and he was trying to sell these Curtis prints, uh, which are photogravure uh, editions of Edward Curtis's photos of the Native American people around 19, 1890 to 1915 you know, catching the tail end of, of the tribal life as it was. And uh, I had the bag in my hand like this. And I, I walked, I thought I was gonna see Fast Eddie a, a day later out in Taos. And I walked up and I kind of leaned up to him and said, Eddie? He goes, oh, what are you kids doing here? And I said, have you had lunch? And <laughs> <laughs> so he, he, he said, hold on to these prints. <laughs> And we went out and we sat by the uh, river under a cottonwood tree and we set up camp and we made, you know, cowboy coffee, which is basically just boiling coffee until it's, you know, something other than grounds. And uh, I think you put an eggshell in too and that helps it, does something to it. And uh, we're sitting there and we're chewing away, you know, it's like good medicine, yeah. The day is getting more and more beautiful, you know, as the afternoon wears on, the glistening rainbow lights everywhere, and, and, uh, and uh, I'm sort of dozing off, you know, and I smelled a horse, and, uh, and I felt a horse, and it was breathing on my face, and I was sitting in this chair laid back, you know, a little camp chair, you know, I was like, and, uh, <laughs> And I smelled this horse. It was one of the most beautiful smells I've ever, I've ever imagined. It was like pure, you know, the horse. And then he, then he blew on me with his nose, you know. <laughs> you know and it was like, that was even better. That was like, you know, that was, that was like really cool. <laughs> and I opened my eyes and I looked up and there sure enough were the nostrils of a big horse right in my face. I was looking with my two eyes into the two nostrils of a horse. <laughs> And it was rubbing its upper lip against my nose and my upper lip. And it was like, wow, man. You know, it was so natural. It just felt like, I don't know, this is supposed to be. <laughs> you know? And I looked up above the horse's head and I saw a, a, a Kiowa Apache ranger in a, with a straw hat and everything. He's looking down and he goes, 
Boys, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but could you move your camp off the road? <laughs> yeah. That's good medicine. <laughs>
about electricity is uh, <laughs> thank you very much folks really appreciate it haven't sung that song in a year and a half yeah. that was really good really good everybody and uh, we'll play a little instrumental that I wrote here um, th what this is called the uh, the dispeller of unlikeliness yeah I think we'll call it that from now on
the Free Mexican Air Force. Hey, you are. Mr. Noel Hernandez on the bass. Yeah. On the drums, the magnificent Chris Rivera. Yeah. Max Baca on the bajo sexto. Yeah. The maestro, Josh. We'll just call him Josh. <laughs> Mr. Peter Rowan, yeah?
Kaczynski. How about a cumbia? <laughs> oh, since this, we're in Ohio, how about, it's polka time out there. All right, so we got some dancing space here in, in the front and the sides there. You, if you want to dance, it's fine.
Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you all. You're too kind. Peter Rowan, y'all, come on, give it up for him. Good, good medicine, yeah. <laughs> They're good electricity. Yeah, all right. So thanks for being here, really. It's so, so much fun. One of, one of our guys got locked out. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Dedicate this to uh, Mr. Charles Sautel, who was a guitarist for Hot Rise, who was such a good friend of ours. In, uh, he recorded uh, Max and Flacco on his uh, Rancho Deluxe album. It's Charles's only solo album, but it was such a beautiful record. He did a Woody Guthrie song called The Ranger's Command. Yes, so we'd like to dedicate this to Flacco, who lives still and... He's uh, he's radiating such goodness to people, you know. He, he, his style they call it allegro, <laughs> happiness. <laughs> and uh, also to uh, a friend we lost during the COVID, uh, my the last drummer you may have seen here with me, uh, the wonderful Jamie Oldacre, who played on Lay Down oh Sally yeah. and all that great stuff. Jamie Oldacre, yeah. All the greats, uh, the great, uh, the late great Freddie Fender as well. Yeah, and yeah. Doug, Doug Song. Yeah. Yeah, well Doug will tip your hat too because uh, these guys are, they plowed the way for us, you know, and made the unlikely more possible. <laughs> All right, this is one that Flacco uh, ri really <laughs> did a, a great and wonderful job on these next two numbers. So hope you enjoy this. The cool springs flow from San Antonio to Austin, Texas. Sangre de Cristo, hot springs, New Mexico. And the mission bells are ringing over in El Barrio. While the darkness 
lovers whisper soft and low.
Casinos are planting their field Where the ghost of Zapata rides a horse that can still outrun the wheel High in the sky above and clear out of sight It's the free Mexican Air Force flying herb causes money to burn They'll jail you and tell you they're making those rich fat cats squirm Freedom for us is a prison for the rulers of might And the three Mexican Air Force Mescalino riding his white Air Force is flying tonight. Yeah, we're flying so. Ay, 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 ay. Mexican Air 
force. Mescalito riding his white horse. It's the real Mexican Air Force flying tonight. Everybody flying so high. The great one and only Peter Rowan, man. A true living legend right here, Peter Rowan, yeah. Right, folks, thank you so much. God bless you guys. On behalf of uh, those Tex Maniacs, Peter Rowan, Josh Baca, my nephew here on the accordion, Chris Rivera on drums, Noel Hernandez on bass, and I'm Max Baca. Thank you guys so much. Don't forget to grab a CD. We'll be out there to sign a, an autograph for you in just a few, okay? God bless you all. Bye-bye.